Alright, so as you guys see, it took at least 60 to 90 minutes, honestly, around 75 minutes for everything to be backed up. But as you see right here, I'm in Twitter recovery. Apologize again for the blur. Can't really pay attention to... Uh, let me try to get it to look a little... Oh, come on. That should be a little better for you guys. Alright, so what we want to do now, we're in here. You just want to click wipe. And once you go into wipe, click format data type in yes like what I did there make sure you format everything that's the very first thing you want to do hope you guys saw all of that alright once everything's format we then we then are gonna actually um alright install the super user that you saw the super user zip that you stored onto your <laughs> um, Stood onto your SD card. I apologize. I'm really sleepy here. I'm struggling. So install, select storage, we're in the SD card. So let's go up a level. Look at right here. Swipe the flash. You guys should know how to do this part, I assume. And that flash really good. It's going to be a lot of repetition going on for this specific part. So I hope you guys are okay with that. And of course, welcome to video 2. I apologize for not even saying it in the introduction, but yeah. This is part 2 of the how to root your LG V20. The AT&T variation. Alright. So right after you finish do that part, what we're going to do right now is a lot of repetition. You're going to go to wipe, format data once more, <laughs> yes, format data again. Alright, then now we're just going to go to, let's start from the beginning, wipe, then we're going to go advanced wipe, then from advanced wipe, we're actually going to do the Delvic, the data and the cache. The Delvic, the data and the cache. And we're just gonna wipe that again. We're just gonna wipe this for the first time, but it's just a lot of wiping you gotta do. Alright, then you can go back to main menu. Or well, you could have just done it right here. Just reboot system. Alright, so now it's gonna do the reboot. You should see this screen. This is the screen that you're looking for on your V20. It's a weird looking uh, hum no hum no hum no screen. Yeah. Oh yeah guys and you know I'm real late right now it's like <laughs> after three or oh, it's after two oh one AM, you know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. At least a like if you don't want to subscribe to my channel because I understand I'm a young growing channel, so hopefully I'll get to the level that will let people want to subscribe and appreciate my channel. <laughs> but yeah. Now, before you get to the gold, you gotta go through the dirt, right? Alright, so it's just loading up here. Alright, let me pause this with the magic of editing. Alright, so once everything made it through the setup wizard, your device will be moving a little slow, but that's okay. Just wanna make sure it's still on USB debugging and USB charging. Alright, USB debugging, as you guys see, it's still on. Oh my god, come on. What happened to all these AT&T bloatware slowing this down so much right now? I can't wait till we get this done. What we have to do now, um, since we just made sure that USB debugging is on and that part and the setup wizard is complete, right back in your command prompt right here, all you have to do right here in the command prompt is just simply type in, because we're trying to go back to the fast boot screen, just type in ADB space reboot. bootloader alright click enter it will reboot back into the fast boot screen once it gets there all you have to do now you type in another command it's gonna be fast boot I'm making sure I got this right space flash space boot space boot 2 dot 
IMG and then you click enter it's gonna do its thing I think it just finished its thing. All right, great, it's done there. So now what you're gonna do is just type fast boot, F A S T B O O T, space reboot. Then click enter. It's gonna reboot your phone as you just heard that weird dumb noise. Turn in there. Okay, once your phone has finally rebooted once again, you'll be introduced to the allow USB debugging prompt that I was speaking of earlier. You just wanna tick and then click OK just to make sure debugging is on I usually recommend waiting like two minutes just to make sure that ADB fast boot everything is recognized alright charging you guys know how this works just just once or always alright made the noise seems to be recognized on my PC now we're back to the command line what, what we're gonna type now is ADB reboot recovery I typed it before but it didn't go through I assume that's because I I went too fast or well, probably I just typed it incorrectly ADB reboot space recovery alright that looks alright click enter alright that's what we wanted to happen so sometimes when you get these error message uh, it's just because we're just you're just doing too fast trust me something about the V20 is like every time the phone reboots you have to literally wait like two to three minutes just for the whole ADB fast boot stuff to catch itself because if as soon as it if as soon as it reboots and you try to put in any type of command prompt it's not gonna recognize it it's just gonna say unrecognized prompt is incorrect for what reason I do not know <laughs> alright so what's happening right here with the phone in case you're wondering it's just actually booting up into recovery and once it boots up into recovery I'll just have to reflash super user <coughs> sorry just gonna reflash super user alright so this is taking a while I'll be back Back in recovery right now, so what we're gonna do right here is swipe across and then we're gonna install, select storage, make sure we got the micro SD card, okay, and we're gonna flash super user once more. It's flashing. Alright, and once we flash it, whenever the hell it finish gets flashing. Alright, once it flashes, in, we go back to wipe. And once we go to wipe, we're going to go advance. We're going to tick on um, the Dalvik cache and cache. Just making sure I got the right ones here. And once we got that now, the Dalvik cache and cache, we're going to swipe. Clear the cache. And we're going to go back to the main menu. <laughs> and after we go back to the main menu, uh, we're actually just going to reboot. <laughs> Alright, I don't know why I keep doing it this long way. And that's it. Um, your phone is pretty much flash. It's rooted right here. That is pretty much it. So congratulations if you follow those simple steps. <laughs> it's a little long, but once you follow those steps, everything will be good. Your phone will be rooted. And um, I'm just going to download a root testing tool. Just to make sure everything is rooted here. Alright now, and we are back so just make sure I get the stuff set so let's do all this the phone started back as you can see over here to the right we got the super user on the LG V20 uh, turn around just so you guys to see again is the V20 let's just click on it just to see what happens new user alright no thank you alright so now let's download a root checker real quick while well, we still got some time just to make sure so that you guys can see for a fact that it's rooted root checker the very first one uh, blah 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 it's downloading shouldn't take that oh god damn 
guys, it's it's just installing right now. Let's open it. All right, agree, agree. Verify root. Grant. Congratulations, root access is properly properly installed. On what type of phone right here? The LG what? Let me see if I can get you guys to see that part. Come on, camera. God damn, camera you're getting worse. Alright, let's just keep it here. You guys can see that the LG H910. That's the AT&T version. Alright, and again, I hope you guys love this video. Subscribe. I'll be, I'll be bringing you guys a lot more LG V20 and a lot more IT updated. Anything focused on technology videos. Depth as how this one was. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I know I just said so. <laughs> Alright, have a good one. And yeah, I'm going to hell to bed. <laughs> good night. Bye.